welcome to Angelica's Corner. My name is Angelica and in today's video I am sharing a monthly budget setup. So I'm super excited this is for the month of November so let's go ahead and get started with the video. If you like watching videos relating to budgeting, savings, and becoming debt free don't forget to subscribe down below. Welcome to the channel and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the channel super happy to have you here today as I'm saying I haven't done one of these in a long time I'm going to be doing a breakdown for November just to give myself an idea mostly monthly budget changes up especially right now since I'm going to be starting a job the first week of November I'm not getting any income and my current income is from Uber Eats and you know that that's different it fluctuates it's not the same amount that I get all the time and I'm just gonna give myself at least like you know write down my expenses my cash envelopes and my sinking funds what I have like what I normally put into them go ahead and start it's a Tombow water-based marker I, can't, I think it's like 62 or 90 it's like this olive green color and I'm gonna be using my Stabilo my Stabilo pen 68 and I just set up first so I'm gonna do November it is gonna be a you know lengthy video but it'll be fun I'll be able to talk to you guys I truly love November because it's like the month before Christmas I don't know it just gets me all pump up for the holidays and I do my monthly budget and if you're a beginner this is a very great video to watch for my monthly budget I always like to put down the income so if you get multiple streams of income you want to write you know income I'm very basic guys when it comes to my budget maybe with time I would change it up but this is what works for me so you could put income it could be like check one check two if you have multiple or you get paid four times paycheck one two three four I'm gonna do my main income will be Etsy and I'm gonna do you know what income at top that'll be the total income and then I'm gonna do uber eats and you know what I'm gonna do also job because I will get some form of paycheck but I don't know how much I'm going to be getting so normally I like to give myself either an estimate you see a lot of people will give estimation and then they add in the exact amount right here somehow I gotta make believe for this month normally I know exactly how much I'm going to be making but you know it is what it is I'll say that for Etsy I'll make at least for this month of November $50 I know I'm I'm setting up the bar guys you know higher you know speak into existence uber eats I am going to put in there that I'm making 1200 and for my job I'll say that I'll make at least a thousand I'm probably you know this is low but I'm just gonna set it like low because I don't know when exactly my start day I'm gonna add it up here with my calculator and that's um, 50 plus 1200 plus 1000 so it's 2250 it's my make-believe expected amount and I'm not I know what I normally do is that I add you know how much I earn and then I break it down but this is mostly gonna be me writing down the bills names and how when I'm gonna have to pay them and uh, my sinking funds what I normally put into them and as well my cash envelope so for expenses patreon That comes out on the first. That is for a dollar and one cent. I like to put the bill itself, the date I have to pay it, and how much I'm paying. QuickBooks is my next one. That is on the seventh of the month, and I'm paying $7.42. Then we have my alarm system that is on the 15 and I paid 58.26. Then there is Kindle and that is on the 16 and for that one 59. We have my pet insurance that I that is on the 17 
I like to put them in order so I, you know so when I do my my weekly breakdown it was coming up that is for 1730 guys and then we have my car payment normally I'm doing extra payments right now for this one my car payment that is also on the 17 and for that I paid a minimum payment 344 21 but I hope to make I like to make extra payments towards that and then I have house insurance house insurance that is on the, on the 17 I am paying $70.90 I hope to bring that down I'll tell you this guys the key to when it comes to budgeting is to always find out if there's a certain discount available and you're not aware that you could probably get and lower your bill that's what i did for my alarm system my car insurance my my house insurance because sometimes they give you discomfort having certain things like i always verify every month uh, especially my phone bill i always verify that my car insurance i for that one i'm paying 157 157 with 20 cent uh, that one comes out on what day? The 19th. This is the one that I messed up earlier. On the 19th, and then we have E rank. E rank is a system that I use for my Etsy shop as well. That is on the 21st, and that is for $5.99. Then we have a phone bill. Here we go. My phone bill. That is on the 21st as well. And that is for 130. And then we have Canva. That is on the 23rd. And this is my last bill. And that is for 12.95. And then I'm right here total. I have 101 plus 7. Point forty two plus fifty eight point twenty six plus ten point fifty nine plus seventeen thirty plus three forty four twenty one plus seventy ninety plus one fifty seven twenty plus five point ninety nine plus one thirty plus 12.95 that equals 815.83 815.83 I'll tell you this guys I am so proud of myself my fixed expenses besides you know my patron my QuickBooks and my Kindle and e-rank and Canva that's like four things they're not like I have need them like I need them need them like a need but you know they're helpful but other than that like with my fixed expenses which are my, my like my monthly bills coming out I'm under a thousand dollars I want to show you guys my monthly budget from April if you see here, my income was 1668 I always made that, like that didn't flush away. But besides that, my expenses were 1001 That was all my monthly expenses that I had. And I was able to bring it down to 800 and some change. How awesome is that, guys? I get, I'm so proud of myself. And that's only what? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. Eight months, I was able to bring down my expense down to 800. I wanna give you guys a quick tip. Hustle for your monthly expenses. And I'm gonna say this, and I know some of you may not like wanna hear it, but if you have Netflix, Disney Plus, movies on demand, I don't know how many movies and programs that you have that you may not even watch all of them hulu like if pick one that you love and for me that is kindle my kindle unlimited i it's my guilty pleasure i love reading so i pay my 10.59 with no problem i don't have netflix or anything like that because i had it once and i barely use it what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna be spending that money on things that i'm not gonna use and you'd be surprised how many people have more than like they have like 10 different memberships and they don't even use them so cut down on your membership first and then move on to negotiating your other bill your phone bills you can negotiate phone there's always deals going on there's open be always make sure they're not overcharging you for like stuff that you don't even have 
or don't need. Break it down. You know, if you gotta pay off a phone, do that. Negotiate your cable bill. You'd be surprised how cable you can negotiate. There's always deals coming up. And I'll tell you this. You may not have seen my electric, my my electric bill, my gas bill, my water bill. That all my mom pays that, which I'm very grateful and thankful because a lot of people don't have that luxury of having help. My mom pays the utilities in my home because they're the lowest, and she doesn't make money like that. You know, she's retired; she gets her retirement check, and it's not much. So that's her responsibility, which is why you don't see this in my budget breakdown. So now we're gonna move to my sinking funds, and you. You know what i'm gonna do sinking funds right here and my cash envelopes to this side i'm gonna do sinking funds i just noticed i had to be in black whatever there's a system to my madness my sinking funds i only have four and that is house taxes that is a must house taxes have to come out every paycheck i didn't do it the last time and i had just paid off my house taxes i have mom that's money i owe her my vet visits for my pet saving up money for that and then also christmas and that's what i have right now for sinking funds so my house taxes i do 100 i'm gonna do paycheck i'm gonna do per paycheck here so i know and then my mom she gets fifty dollars for each paycheck my vet visits i normally do twenty dollars twenty for paycheck and then my christmas I, my plan is to do 20 but you know i don't know how that's gonna work out to be honest not really my mom is not a priority she said to not stress about that so and also my christmas is not a priority my vet visits it's good to have that but my main priority out of my sinking funds is my house taxes and normally i like to write total month wise but i'm just gonna do per paycheck because you know what this i'm saying november is just like out there i don't know what's going on with november but i like to still do my breakdown so i could have an idea what's going on then we have my cash envelopes okay so we make say that cash envelopes are more important than sinking funds sinking funds sinking funds are just you know like a luxury or miscellaneous um not needed it all depends on what you consider you know priority i don't like to dictate in people's budget everyone finds priority you know that's on you that's not my business i could tell you you know hey you know don't do this don't do that when it comes to the budgeting system everyone has their needs their wants you know what's more important to you i can that can tell you what to do and not to do okay just remember that um for my cash envelopes i have here groceries I'll write down bigger groceries gas i also have my pet Spend. this is for i'm gonna do pet food Spend. we also have medical and uh, gifts donations starbucks and eat out also i have extra payment which i know some people say well you know that's um debt is a priority yes i just like to write it in the end because it looks nice where i put it okay that's why not because i don't consider debt a priority yes i do consider debt a priority however i need food i need gas i need to get my pet food i need my starbucks fix yes i do I don't care what you tell me. Remember I said I don't care. I love Starbucks and that is my one guilty pleasure. I don't drink like that. I don't do none of that. So Starbucks, it is, okay? And then eat out. I don't really care. Sometimes I eat out, sometimes I don't. And yeah, you see what I mean? You just gotta find out what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And then I just quickly fill this in and I'm, this is per paycheck, okay? Not for the monthly. I write the monthly budget so I know all of my different setups. Normally I do the total, but like I said before, I'm just gonna do EEA because of how unstable November is. Once I know and I have an idea how much I'm gonna be getting paycheck wise and everything else, I'll give myself a monthly total for each category. So my groceries, honestly, I always do my $70 and I'm gonna leave it to that. I'm gonna do EEA for each paycheck gas i'm going to do 30 my pet she always gets between 20 to 20 um 20 to 25 depending 30 but i'm gonna do 20 that's 20 is good spend money i i don't know guys i i'm i'll say 20 dollars. so usually i give myself this i may not even give myself this medical 10 dollars gifts i'm going to do 20 dollars every paycheck donations I am always do ten dollars 
Starbucks gets is automatically $10. Eat Out is going to get $15. And if I can make extra payment, anything between $200 to $300. I'll take sorry the extra payment will go towards my car loan I want to get rid of that car loan guys do you know that I was looking at this the other day and I was freaking out because I noticed that if I didn't have that car loan I'll have subtract 344 out of this leftover okay that's money I could play around add them in different categories to or the to other needs pay them any to other to debt pretty much this is my November monthly budget update. It's a little bit different than some people do. You know, November, like I'm saying, is very out there. I don't know what's going to go on. But I like to give myself, especially, a monthly expense so I know what date and how much I'm spending on and when they're coming out. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video.